Hi guys, welcome to a new Bible study. Today we will study two verses and will be 1 Timothy 1 verses 18 and 19a. And this text says, Timothy, my son, I gave you this instruction in keeping with the prophecies once made about you, so that by following them you may fight the good fight holding on to faith and a good conscience. In these verses, Paul confirms to Timothy that the words he is sharing are of God, congruent with prophecies about Timothy and meant to encourage, equip and guide him to better defend and advance the truth. And second, once again Paul addresses Timothy intimately by name setting a fatherly tone for the following instruction which could have been misinterpreted as overly directive, bossy or even imposed. This tone confirms the heart in which the letter was written while the reference to the prophecies and the instructions underscores that both, both prophecies and instructions were revealed by God. And thirdly, Although we are not privy to the prophecies which were undoubtedly given before Timothy was installed in Ephesus, we can infer that they revealed Timothy's purpose and impact for the kingdom as a defender of the true faith and a righteous Christian leader despite his relatively young age. Interestingly enough, by implementing the following instructions that Paul gave him, Timothy would eliminate the attracting issues, situations and challenges that could have eroded his faith and integrity. In communicating as he did, Paul relied on godly wisdom, enabling Timothy to focus on accomplishing his purpose. Brothers, what a wonderful reminder that God's word provides us the wisdom, discernment and practical parameters to better focus our efforts to fulfill God's purpose in our lives. Life is so full of competing demands and distractions and a spiritual battle is always afoot as our enemy tries to hinder God's plans. Understanding that scripture is our manual for abandoned and fruitful living, may we eagerly seek to implement it in our lives. Ridding ourselves of the incessant noise distracting us from God's work. May we, like Timothy, cling to faith and maintain a good conscience so that we will do fight the good fight. God bless you all.